Okay, this is the question. What could possibly make a happily married woman fake her own death and abandon her husband and three children? Everything that I've done is for my family. That is the biggest question that you're going to be asking yourself whilst watching The Olive on Accelerate TV right here on YouTube. So, let me back it up a bit, in case you don't know. I know I kind of already mentioned it a couple of weeks ago, you know, I was talking about how there is nothing to watch. I was wrong. Apparently, Accelerate TV is actually back with The Olive. It's a crime drama, crime thriller web series, and season two is actually almost wrapping up right now. So if you are a binge watcher like me, <laughs> you're in for a treat, especially if you haven't seen season one, okay? So, let me tell you a little bit about what The Olive is all about. The Olive is a web series, like I mentioned, and season one was dropped uh, two years ago now, so it's been a while. I actually thought they weren't going to come back with season two, but I was quite excited, of course, when I found out that, oh, they were not only coming back with season two, but, you know, my friends were also going to be on it as well. And talking about that, I don't know if this was one of the reasons why they delayed uh, but one of the actors in season one, the late Karibi Fubara, passed. Uh, may you still continue to rest in peace. Ooh, my heart. Yes, um, unfortunately, Karibi passed and it was, it played such a significant role in season one. And in this season, his character's name was Toby. So in this season, season two, the character Toby is being played by Michael Ejo and he's doing such a good job with it. Um, but the other actors on this show include uh, Theresa Idem, you have Ibrahim Suleiman, you have Jaque Silva, you have Bolaji Ogumola, as I mentioned, Michael Ejo. In season two, you also have Chimeze Imo, you have Stephanie Koka, uh, uh, Ade, I forgot her husband's name, I'm sorry. Um, but you have Stephanie Koka as well. Uh, quite a number of actors and actresses on this show, The Olive. It's actually a gripping show. It's, you know, if you like, if you like shows where they're, they're suspense filled, you know, and it's keeping you at the end, edge of your seat and you're wondering what's going to happen in the next episode, then The Olive is for you. You would thoroughly enjoy it. I've gone through the comments a few times and I know that people are just like coming up. You start to come up with your own scenario. You start to make things up like, okay, why is this this? Why is that that? I find this show to be quite realistic in an, to an extent, especially watching uh, Anayo, played by Ibrahim Suleiman, struggle with a single parenting. You know, here it is parenting or trying to parent two teenagers and one preteen by himself. Okay, that is a lot on its own. And he also has to survive, make money, take care of the kids, you know, run the business and, you know, still take care of himself as well. So it is a lot and they try to keep it as realistic as possible. And I actually quite appreciate that. Did they push the limit a few points? At a few points, you know, I was like, okay, it's a show. So you're going to take it, right? <laughs> but overall, you know, you, you experience the struggles and challenges that this man is going through. Also, can I just mention that one of the things I love about the Olive is the acting. The performances on this show are just stellar. But as I mentioned, you already know that the actors on this show, they are, you know, they are not just anyhow actors. They are actors that know their onions. And is it onions or salt? They shall know what they are doing. <laughs> I don't want to tell you who my most disliked character is on season two, but since season one has passed, I can tell you that what my most liked in season one was Anayo because I thought it just it just did a great job holding it down and of course playing the lead role is is the lead character, right? I believe. Um, but my most dislike in season one was Anayo's daughter. What's the name? The older daughter, Adora. Oof. I mean, I guess because I'm an adult, you know, it's easy for me to dislike her attitude sometimes, but I guess a teenager might be able to relate with her more. But I just don't like it when kids cannot empathize with their parents and when they become just so selfish and consumed with their own things, you know, and with their own needs and wants and all of that, and not seeing beyond that. And I felt like that was how, and I, oh, sorry, Adora was in season one. 
But in season two, there's another person that is pissing me off, but I'm not gonna tell you who that is. <laughs> With season two, I also liked that we get a backstory into Dami and Toby's story and who they are and what their struggles are. Uh, because with season one, they were all about uh, Anayo and, you know, his life and trying to move on and whatever. So we didn't really get to know them on a personal note, on an individual note. But with season two, we are getting that and I quite appreciate that as well. The production quality of this show is top notch. I mean, you know, you don't typically get a, like crime dramas on YouTube with Nigerian shows. It's almost always like love or just drama, you know, romantic drama drama, romantic comedy or pure comedy, something, things like that. But with these, they're doing something different and I quite appreciate that. But the production quality, I'm talking cinematography and lighting, you know, all of that, that really things that they put a lot of thought into. You know, you have a couple of CGI's here and there that, you know, it's, it's you know, you'd appreciate it. You'd appreciate the work that went into it. Um, I think it's a show that you should watch. I was complaining that there's nothing to watch, but the olive is there for you to watch, especially if you haven't seen season one. If you've seen season one, well, the olive is back and they're wrapping up on season two right now, so now is the best time to catch up on it. This show is going to leave you with a lot of questions, I'm telling you. You're going to be asking yourself, why did she do it? You're going to be asking yourself, who is Dr. Ayodele, played by Stephanie Coca, and what she about, was a journey, was a story? And I guess the biggest question is, what's the end goal? You know, where, where, where is she trying to get to? What is she trying to do? And then you look at Tutu, played by Bala Yogumala, and you're like, this, this girl. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to say too much, so I don't spoil it for you. But if you have seen the show already, what, are you, what do you think? If you're watching it right now, what do you think? Let's talk in the comment section, okay? And if you haven't seen it, make sure to go check it out. I'll link it down in the description box and in the comment section as well. Thank you so much for watching. I can't see you again very, very soon. Uh, remain in God and God bless you. Bye. <laughs>